happy full moon y'all i hope that this aquarius energy has been good to you guys so first before i get started if you're new here thank you welcome for being here if you're returning thank you for coming back all right it's good to have you here right i've missed this miss coming through giving readings and spirit messages and all that so um before I get started, if you are in need of a personal reading, if you're in need, in need of any conjure or root work, if you are in need of any self-help, self-led things to help you get more connected with your personal self, that is on the website. We have something new under Know Thyself. There is a astrology workbook where... Um, you basically get in touch with your star power, right? Your star players. And you write your story out, uh, see what's real for you, and rewrite your story. All right. <laughs> and then we also have, um, and you tap a little bit into your destiny because everything else, all the planets are just really surrounding. They are the, the um, pawns of sort when it comes to the destiny which i talk about in there and then we have a workbook for womb guidance it's like mystical womb guidance right so getting in touch with your menstrual cycles and um there are readings in there to support you you can get a lunar return chart reading um there are pages in there to help you um track your cycle okay there's a lot of good stuff in there but you can check it out on the website and with that we are going to go ahead and get started with this energy we're going to talk a little bit about the astrology that's going on all right so when it's a full moon that means the sun and the moon are opposite one another right the the sun is apparently casting its light on the darkness of the moon making it full okay so with that um Moons in Aquarius are more of a detached nature. It, it shows up very caring, but not in a way where it is needing to be responsible, right, for what it is that's going on for the outcome of things, right? But it does show up to help you get to the outcome, to make the outcome a real thing. All right, so this can this speaks about our friendships, our long-term goals, our organizations that we're part of, our large sums of money, right? Whether that's coming or going. This is also speaking about um, our humanitarian and philanthropy efforts, right? The welfare of the community, and really showing how it is that we show up for that, what it is that we're doing in order to show up for that. If we are showing up for that, are we harming or are we? Um, facilitating thriving right forward movement forward push because you know every energy has two sides to it so with this this may also be revealing a great truth to us something that we cannot unsee any longer you know it's interesting um when the full moon cycle when the moon went into the full moon cycle phase that Trey song can't help but wait song kept playing all day i can't help but wait till you get back with him and it don't change till you see that with me it ain't the same so there may be some things that we keep trying to go back to or that we are trying to do that aren't necessarily working maybe that's relationships with people okay maybe this is particular friendships maybe this is groups and organizations that we're part of maybe this is some goal it is that we're trying to accomplish that it's just not working and there's something in our faces like do me do this i'm here you see me let me help right so it's us needing to really connect with that and and, and be with that and and um see what that's giving i suppose you know because venus has also gone into leo right so venus is now in leo and mercury is also now in virgo right so with venus and leo this is like very grand values very grand gestures of love right a lot of romance a lot of um 
confidence in the self in the in the beauty of the self you know like of um of the feeling good like our health may be revived our vitality may be feeling very uh uplifted at this time you know we may be um finding clarity in regards to um something when it comes to our children um to our love relationships to our romance this can be even um just new forms of self-care that we are initiating right that's going to help us in feeling more confident in our skin and our body and our way of going about doing things we are also seeing ourselves very clearly right and seeing how others value us very clearly right the truth of that right although aquarius and leo can be very tense it's always um based around truth until it is not right because like i said all energies have two sides to them so um we may be okay so before i get into all the aspects let me talk about these regular stuff i'm looking down because i wrote some stuff down i want to talk about so aquarius it rules the calves the ankles the shin and the achilles right so these are areas if you look up the spirituality of these areas, that is like a very, um, the Achilles is about the strength of being able for real to go forth, right? It can easily take us out, easily take us out, right? In the cast, it is, it's the muscle that um, continues to allow us to walk, right? It's the strength, it's, it's, it's the, uh, what upholds us in the lower region, right? In the shins, this is a very protective bone here, <laughs> All right? So if the shin was to break, that would be very painful, right? But it is uh, what keeps the front end in alignment to the ankle so that the toes can work, okay? So all of these things, if, if any of these were to be um, impaired in any way, any form, it's going to take a lot of time to be repaired, to get back to normal, if that is even possible. Things may have to start working completely different in that area. So this, to me, this is like, okay, things, it's time for things to become very different, right? There needs some harmony. There is some balance that's needing to be taking place here because the moon is at a Libra degree. It's at happening at 19 degrees. Okay, so with that, this has a lot to do with our relationships, right? And seeing the truth of that, this has a lot to do with our work, right? Our communication, justice coming forth in our life, contracts as well in, in attaining these things. These, some things may be leaving, some new things may be coming out, right? Because the full moon, it, it can be about manifestation, but it's mainly about release because we're about to go into the waning phase of things, right? But something's being harvested as well, right? So something that we've been putting work into for probably quite some time with Aquarius, things have been going on for a long time, right? Because it's like, this is like retirement energy. This is the damn near the end of life. You know, so it's like we're basically um, coming to the end of something. So uh, things may be, be getting renewed. There may be a lot of healing taking place. There may be some realizations of what just cannot go on any further, right? And um, the truth and the clarity is coming forth uh, to bring reprieve is the word that i'm hearing reprieve i don't know so the sun and the full moon is in a t-square to the north node in uranus okay and this t-square is with this full moon in these two energies squaring this taurus energy all right so there is there may have been some hiccups some um, tension, some conflict, some confusion even in regards to attaining our goals. But this is just showing us what it is that's needed to change, right? Because with the energy of Aquarius being square to its ruler, it's like, hey, this is, I'm showing you what you need to do. 
You got to switch your values. You got to um, come up out of the ways in which you go about handling your real practical life. You have to be grounded, Aquarius, all right? Because the grounding of Aquarius may be absent there, right? It's a lot of nervous energy. I know this morning I woke up, I was really anxious. I was like, what is going on? Um, friend and I am, my, my moon has come. So that had a lot to do with it. Uh, but once I got in the shower and let the energy kind of wish away, it was more of like, oh, okay, I'm seeing clearly that um, what needs to go, right? What has to go, what I just need to go ahead and take care of kind of thing. Okay, so those energies are going to strongly be at play uh, over the next month, maybe even six weeks. Okay, and that really just allowing us to come into a line, the alignment that we need when it comes to, because this energy has a lot to do with our physical world and the intelligence it is that we use and utilize in getting to that. Like, it's like there you can't really half step. You have to um, see things for what it is that they truly are so that you can make the right moves is the strategy has to be top notch here you can't really just be doing anything granted you can be innovative and try these things whatever these things are but you're going to have to be very practical in your approach to it um it's like the planning is very necessary here okay and so we also have a venus and neptune conjunction um connection not a conjunction a connection that's taking place so a lot of dreamy type of love <clears throat> there may be something at a distance that we're really wanting um or something that we're dreaming of that we want to bring into fruition right but it's going to take our own personal willpower to make this happen so if you haven't been within your uh ability to will things into your life it's going to be difficult to make the dream real right so it's a good time to get a reading get some support uh from like a, a spiritual dynamic with that right so astrology is good for that tarot is good for that any form of divination maybe you want to go somebody who read bones maybe you want to go to somebody who read charms and and or I Ching or you know anything like that or it's just an oracle a medium even okay to help you see beyond the veil all right because if you're only focused on sometimes the physical things have to be practical but sometimes you have to be able to see beyond what it, and connect with what cannot be seen so that you can accomplish your goals right so um then venus is connecting with pluto so there is some balance taking place or needing to take place in the structure of things um like this is the energy of return to me pluto is in retrograde and uh, venus is in leo right so it's about returning old stuff to cultivate a sense of uh, stability and surety within the self right so that what is needed what is wanted what is desired can come about in the way in which it is that we want all right, so, but that's going to take uh, some bit of transformation <clears throat> in some regard. When it comes to what it is that we're trying to accomplish, right? So there may be some balance that's needing to take place with our children as well. Maybe we are, well, kids are about to go back to school, I believe. Well, or they already did. I've seen some school pictures on Facebook yesterday and so or maybe that was today I don't know either way um this is the energy of return right so in in Capricorn is school structured energy okay so this may be bringing balance back to the children's world right uh, school is beneficial for routine and things like that if that is not already had for real in the home outside of uh you know getting up getting ready for school you know going to practice going to uh some club or um all the things that children do 
that keep them that give them structure and order right so um they may be finding new value within these things the, the parents are as parents we may be seeing things very differently when it comes to the schooling to what it is that the children have and what we offer to them and what others offer to them okay and pluto and mars is in um it's in a, a a nice connection right so things can be moving very quickly right especially within a change in values this can bring um some very intense tent very intense type of uh communication but more so like in real life so like if this is either working really well or if there's something that's already been going not right more things are going to come up to so that they can get right but we may be um finding new ways when it comes to our practical life our homes our possessions right our foundations um and doing things to get there like finding new ways to make money finding new uh, ideas that we can create to do this like it's something may be initiated or something may be coming back from the past right more so within in order to make these things go and then chiron and lilith got an energy going on so there may be something in regards to women and the self right there may be some forgiveness happening or there may be something being triggered in regards to old wounds that bring up healing to take place, right? Some kind of dark energy. Um, this can be coming up with the mother, right? Ways that we have been wounded with the dark mother energy, right? So, um, and that is really just that whole lack of nurturing, that whole... Um, just really not being present the uh, fin for yourself kind of mom energy or even it could it, it can be manifest in so many different ways but any type of wounds any type of shame guilt around the actual self right that has come from uh the toxic feminine energies that exist within the collective or within relationships that you've had healing may be taking place with that um, we may be seeing that differently. We may be feeling the need to nurture ourselves, give to ourselves more, um, comfort ourselves more, right? And show up for ourselves in the way we need to and this allowing us to find more courage in being, right? In doing what it is that we need to do for us, right? And not being a victim, or I should say holding a victim mindset, uh, from what has come what has been so outside of that we also have some energies with Uranus in the south node of course being opposite one another since Uranus is still conjunct the north node and we're letting go of old um, old the karmas old fears old uh, ways of dealing with money especially money that we share with other people or give to other people or that they give to us all right this can be in the family this can be radical change and this can be due to truth being revealed right uh, seeing things clearly when it comes to our values based on another person's values and does this align right okay and um this freeing us up in a way that we can't necessarily see right now right because this is happening internally and then we have Pluto and Neptune coming together and making things real for us in in the dreams. But there's work, right? We have to put some effort into this, you know? So it's like, um, it's a lot of truth. It's a lot of possibility. It's a lot of releasing and letting go of what necessarily it doesn't serve us what won't serve us along the way um and allowing ourselves to be released okay so you guys we're gonna go ahead and roll some dice and 
I like one of these matches. I got these incense matches. This is Bayberry. So you can, Bayberry is good for material things, for uh, protection of the material things, bringing that in, calling that in. Bayberry is also good for um, uplifting the spirit joy you know funds all those things so take a minute to think about that what it is that is calling you in regards to those things within your life and your world okay so you guys to this reading. First spirit, ancestors, those who are watching this, spirit guides, angels, those that bring protection, benevolence, abundance, prosperity, peace and harmony, the balance it is that we need in our lives to move forward, that bring clarity, understanding, and truth to see compassion through compassionate eyes what would you like for us to know for this Aquarius full moon hmm. so we have the North Node in Libra in the first house so we may be again the this moon is at a Libra degree you know so this is a lot about us being relational with others showing up in ourselves as relational Right, so thinking about the other, connecting with the other, right? And um, we may be finding ourselves focusing on our work very strongly as well and, and supporting and serving others in a way that is going to allow us to grow, to bring, and more so the growth is happening within self, right? So you are, or we are being perceived as someone like, um, so this morning when I pulled cards for myself, the card that came up at the bottom at this um, this gypsy deck was hand in hand, All right? So we may be collaborating, building new partnerships, focusing on our partnership. We could just be very focused on our our love, our marriages, right? Um, our commitments as well. We could be also um, focusing on our beauty in refining our bodies in some way, right? We may be focusing on our bodily health as well. And that being what it is that, it's like we're learning what it is that we need to be doing to go, <clears throat> to go forward, right? Having what it is that we need, having the understanding it is that we need in order to support ourselves in a healthy way, in a healthy dynamic, okay? Because, um, Libra is is all about the body, is about the beauty, right? The beauty of the skin, the beauty of the hair, the beauty of the figure, right? The beauty of the clothes. Um, Libra is a very materialistic energy because it is ruled by Venus, right? So uh, beauty in general may be very strong focus in getting there, going there with the North Node right focusing on the destiny of having these relationships it is that we want right and even more so the relationship we want with ourselves you know so it's like what is it that we need to do in order to get there we're learning what that is and and making that happen right and this is us being we may find ourselves needing to be very consistent with our spirituality our spiritual practices if we don't aren't already right um and maybe could uh seeing things from a more un unconditional light with um when it comes to others right and um uh, who it is that they are and, and being okay with that being receptive to that in a way that allows compassion that allows us to see 
reality through the eyes in which it is that they need to be seen so that it can continue to flow on and move on. Um, again, this is also a lot about truth. So we're seeing the truth of ourselves. Other people are seeing the truth of us, right? Um, we're seeing the truth of others. And in some regard, this is bringing a sense of justice to us, right? This is like karma taking place, right? And karma, karma is not necessarily a bad thing. Some things happen for the good of all, right? For the good of what is necessary, okay? So we are also finding our way to be our individual selves within our relationships. Okay, so let's see what messages that the tarot has for us at this time. Spirit, can we get some clear and precise messages with this Aquarius? expressive energy the truth of the matter what is it that you want us to know right now what do we need to know about this lunar Aquarius energy where are we currently okay yeah so we have the Mother of Baskets as the first card. So with the Mother of Baskets coming out here, this is about the, the giving and the receiving, you know, the nurturing aspect of this is very lunar type energy, you know. So this has a lot to do with, um, with us being understanding, with us being receptive, with us being very clear about who it is that we are, you know, um, and showing up in that. Uh, there may be someone coming out to offer us something, giving their hand out, maybe trying to take care of us in some kind of way. Maybe we're being taken care of by our mothers, by the women in our life in some regard. Um, there is a lot of unconditionality happening right now, right? Because although we are seeing the truth of the matter, we're seeing this through eyes of compassion, right? Um, Granted, there can be some some disappointment. There can be some um, hurt happening in regards to seeing these things, but this more so feels like recognizing the value, the beauty in whatever is needing to be released, whatever is being released, or whatever is coming full circle for us, right? And just accepting things for what it is that they are, you know, and um, finding ourselves being in a place of, again, understanding, you know, so what is it that we are moving into for this Aquarius energy? cards came out oh wow okay so we have the ten of coins and the four of coins so we are it's still uh, some lot about help somebody we are receiving a lot of support right um maybe something somebody is doing something for us and this has to do in regards to finances okay um this also it's like we're finding what it is that we're looking for. Also, those of us who have may have been concerned with finances, we may come to the space of realizing that we don't necessarily need to be worried about them in the way we thought we did, in a sense. Um, there's also the ancestors who are very strong here, and it may be a mother ancestor, uh, a, woman, a mother ancestor, a woman, a grandmother, perhaps maybe it was an aunt of a water sign cancer pisces scorpio okay and they're bringing um forth some luck toward us right finding helping us find some hidden treasure <clears throat> right and allowing us to um it's like we come through something unscathed 
right? Um, we receive a manifestation, a miracle that we have been wanting for some time, right? And it's starting something new for us, right? Old, again, old cycles are coming to an end. Um, but there, it's like it's coming through another person. Uh, perhaps there is a need to maybe we're the ones as well giving this energy um, giving out this help giving this support okay but we are receiving a manifestation of something that we have been <clears throat> really desiring okay um, this is something we've been dreaming of, something we've been praying about, something we've been holding very deeply, tightly in our spirit. It's coming forward for us, okay? What else is here, spirit? What needs to be embraced here under this Aquarius moon? So what's needing to be embraced is the Three of Knives. So with the Three of Knives and this being um, embraced, this is a about the realizations right this is the awakening that's happening for us with this this the disappointments right but this is also just the seeing things clearly this is the allowing embracing allowing the healing to take place right and, and maybe there's some forgiveness that's needing to be uh to needing to happen here um and this might be something from the past that is going on that is coming up for review perhaps there is also Bashar why are you messing with them blinds um perhaps there is also some Bashar can you open that blind for me no it's two boys over there Bashar thank you that's good so uh Mommy, you want too much sun? that's enough son okay thank you so the three of knives here um also embracing whatever losses it is that we're having to accept at this time right because something is leaving again full moons is about release as well things are manifesting but in order in order to it's almost like in order to attain what it is that's coming in we have to let something go and this um this letting go is it may be of a relationship this could be of this is libra energy so it could be a relationship this could be communication with the self even it could be just something within us may not necessarily be something outside of us okay but three of knives usually has to do with other people okay so let's see what are we avoiding here is needing to be avoided Mommy? during this full moon energy. Yes, baby. Do you have any more uh, I'll get it in a minute. Avoid. So, the mother of knives is what is needing to be avoided here. Um, so, with so that, that um, avoid the mother of knives. So, <laughs> this might actually be a person. This may be a woman. Um, Someone who's very like matter of factly in a sense um this can even just be a space in the self of judgment for real right so if right so how i was saying that we're coming from this very unconditional space coming out of uh judgment is the only way that we're going to be able to be and come from compassion you know um, this is this this also a lot about judging the flow of how things have to go right how things the way in which it is that they're moving right and the recognizing that everything is gonna be okay for real <clears throat> because we don't necessarily have the full spectrum of what's taking place you know and it's like we have to rest our minds like 
go in meditation, go in prayer. If it's too overwhelming to deal with, you know, take the time it is that you need for yourself so that you can really um, embrace what what's happening, all right? So that you can really digest it, all right? So that you can let it go from the mind, all right? Because the three of knives in the embracing aspect of things it's like you also have to accept the past for what it was and the mother of knives coming up in the avoidance it's like don't let the past uh dictate the judgments it is that you're about to make going forward right this again could also be a woman uh who had holds this mother of knives energy um and when it comes out in avoiding um this is like to me is the that that lower aspect of mother of nine someone who is just like the mother of nines don't really wear a mask um more so like got a stank ass attitude kind of thing um or like just kind of bitchy or kind of um um what's the word i'm looking for one one that does not do well with others basically so okay i received a phone call okay so um and this can also be just avoiding that lower aspect of mother of knives right um this can also to me be speaking about don't not letting something that has happened uh se bring separation to a relationship right because the mother of knives and like the traditional tarot of her story speaks a lot about um being a widow um or a divorced woman right so this is not about the death of a relationship but more so a, a change and awakening of seeing things clearly right and understanding so you can be more compassionate to another so that you can um know more about a person right and embracing them it's like being in this mother energy this mother mother archetype okay so for the challenge when i was shuffling three cards came out and you looked at them interesting so it's the magician the father of baskets and the ace of knives so with these cards coming up in the challenge okay what are the messages do we have for spirit i had received a phone call what else is here okay so we need to ask don't hesitate don't wait you know make sure that this may come up as an issue where right? blockages may come up like the stoppages of the mind thinking about how things are gonna go before they even take place right but um, this is also a lot about embracing the messages that we are receiving right open your messages check your messages go check your mail right go check your email go um, go look at your uh your text messages maybe you overlooked something okay check your dms all right there is something within that that you are needing you may also just be needing to listen be listening to whatever it is that you're receiving from spirit all right because spirit may be showing up and being like hey this is what you need to do all right pay attention um embrace that we have a lot of news coming in that's going to bring a completion to something all right uh, a completion to to life and when i say life i mean like how life has been going right um we may also be receiving some challenging messages to do with right and when i say that i mean we may be uh needing to take time to figure out if we are going to embrace these messages, if we gonna to respond to these messages, what do we say to these messages, okay? But it's like, don't allow the, what's coming through to be seen 
through the eyes of the past, through old hurts, okay? What else is here, Spirit? Yeah, so um, where it is that you're needing to stand up for yourself, or maybe you're standing up for someone else um, at this time, it's important that you... Uh, know that that is going to be the solve of things right so this is like pushing forward despite the circumstances whatever it is that is kind of standing in your way continue to move forward and and know that you are protected in continuing to do this in continuing to take these strides take these steps right um because all is not all is not lost all right, all is not lost. This seven is actually coming after the eight of sticks, right? So whatever it is that's coming in, you may be feeling the need to stand up for yourself, to defend yourself, or you know, maybe you may be learning something where you got to stand up for somebody else, right? But know that you are on top. That That is what's going to keep you going, knowing that you got this, like you can do this. You just have to be consistent with it. Um even when things get tough, knowing that your guides, your God, ancestors, they got you, okay? Yes, yeah, so um, do what it is that you need to do for yourself. First, believe that you have everything that you need. Recognize that, see that, right? But it's important for you to build upon things, Um this card is also saying to me that uh, not to lose your individuality within the midst of things. Perhaps you are also needing to recognize where it is that you may need to just work on your own, right? Um, and that may come in with the, the whole needing to defend oneself. Like you're receiving these messages, oh, should I do this? Should I not do this? Right? This happened in my past, but... In reality, you make the decision based on your need to, I just need to do this my way, right? And that Trey Song song come up again. I can't help but want to be. Good job, baby. Get back with him. It don't change. All right, but you can do it. All right, because Bashar just rolled up this, uh... <laughs> yoga mat by itself and he usually it usually be coming out all uneven but he's like i did it i got it so it's like you can do it usually i have to help him but this time i did not you know what else is here spirit what other messages do we have here yes yeah, so Go within when you need to consult with your spirits, consult with your inner guide, right? Your inner priest, priestess, okay? And listen to where it is. Let the moon guide you, right? So be paying attention to the signs. Be Maybe you need to take some time to get some clarity on these things. Um, maybe you need seven days. Maybe you need seven weeks. All right, maybe it's gonna take you seven weeks to gain the momentum in what it is that you're doing, right? But it's a need to be consistent. Maybe it's time for you to connect with someone of a, uh, the nature of a high priestess. Maybe it's time to connect with women as well, perhaps. Women who support you in who it is that you are, you know? Maybe this whole need to be unconditional is simply of you, of, of you being unconditional and loving and caring for yourself, right? And the decisions and the choices it is that you have to make. And maybe that is um, where the disappointment lies, <laughs> that you got to do something that you just, that's hard for you to do, right? And I can, saying that, I can relate to that so much right now, okay? Uh, decisions right it's a lot about decisions and making those and these may be very tough decisions that you have to make you know but um, knowing that although you don't know what's coming you can't see right so it's like stop trying to figure out what's gonna come you don't have to know everything 
take a pause where you need to. Don't be in such a rush. It's okay. It's coming kind of energy. Okay. Because at the bottom here, we have the big queen. The big queen, she is the uh, empress, right? So the high priestess becomes the empress. <laughs> and that is where things are headed. This is where we're going. All right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, under there is a free man. Okay, so let's see. What else is here? <laughs> what other messages do you have for us, spirit? No, move that baby. Okay, your latest invention. Give me a minute, okay? Yeah. Let the messages see how for us there. What else would you like for us to know for this full moon in Aquarius? Right, so we have the mermaid's rock here. So the mermaid's rock is about union. Union within the self and union with another. Right, so again, this this energy is strongly about relationships. I'm going to read it for you guys. It's a lot of background noise as I'm doing this reading, and it's just kind of like, didn't I ask you not to do that again? Okay, go test it out in the other room then. So, it's like, don't the background noise don't let it distract you whether that is of a subconscious thing or just literal things going on um that are deterring you from um the choices the decisions it is that you gotta make okay <clears throat> so the mermaid's frock says union your prayer will be answered you will strike upon what is eternally right for you and receive the finished stone you wish for the mermaid the Mermaid's Rock predicts that your latent abilities, education, and a variety of refining will bring life into, what is this? Will bring life in you in the holy and mysterious that creates, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Education and variety of refining will bring to life in you the holy and mysterious that creates solidity and cohesion. <laughs> It represents an extension of the divine that is unchanging, solid, and eternal. Winning depends upon the inherent strength and of unshifting foundation of your faith. The mermaid's rock signifies the lofty seats of the soul's departed ancestors, who as a part of you bring blessings and help. The link of the love, the link of love is eternal unless your heart has been turned to stone. Okay, so again, this has a lot to do with our ancestors showing up for us and leading us and guiding us and showing. Um, there may be some cooperation that's needing to take place when it comes to others um, or more so just a cooperating of ourselves with ourselves and where it is that we're being guided to and how we're being guided. Because what we are desiring, what we want, if by any means we're thinking that something is not going to work out, how we... If there any, if there's any fear behind what it is that we are desiring to work out, know that it is um, it's invalid. It's not valid. It is work. It's like a working through that for real. Because the foundation is it begins within us. So being stable within our own foundation is what is going to set us on the right path wow okay <laughs> so we have satira and she talks about brazen being brazen well this is about doing something new okay Satira is in the Temple of Warriors, and she is a fire. Okay, so Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Okay, so Satira, she speaks about being brazen, and she's, Goddess Satira is the energy and spirit of Buxton and 
Guyana, South America. Satira is brave, bold, brazen, and barefaced, casting a spell with her hips. Her guidance says, step up, go for it, partner with the divine to make brazen choices, and everything meant to diminish you will elevate you. All who mean you harm will fall away. Your hurdles are illusions because you are plugged into the source. Her embodiment is to make brazen decisions. What would you dare to do if you knew you couldn't fail? It is brazen to be unapologetically you. It is brazen to speak up for someone not in the room. It is brazen to choose a different spiritual path or career than your community. It is brazen to build your family your way. God, Goddess, Force, Energy is brazen. Her declaration says... I am bold, brave, shameless, and brazen. All right, so it's whatever it is, it's time. And you have the cosmic power within you, the alignment of self-union, you know? So what else? What other messages? <laughs> Before I even shuffle the moon cards, we got the North Node. Step out of your comfort zone, right? So it's time to um, focus on your true North your destiny, your path, right? Because whatever changes, whatever is leaving um, is because it's no longer in alignment with where it is that you are headed. And that's important to embrace. Whatever we're seeing the truth of, right, is it may at one point have been of support, but it, it no, today it's not. It's too comfortable. Okay, so Satira, she speaks about being brazen, and she's Goddess Satira is the energy and spirit of Buxton in Guyana, South America. Satira is brave, bold, brazen, and barefaced, casting a spell with her hips. Her guidance says, "Step up, go for it, partner with the divine to make brazen choices, and everything meant to diminish you will elevate you." All who mean you harm will fall away. Your hurdles are illusions because you are plugged into the source. Her embodiment is to make brazen decisions. What would you dare to do if you knew you couldn't fail? It is brazen to be unapologetically you. It is brazen to speak up for someone not in the room. It is brazen to choose a different spiritual path or career than your community. It is brazen to build your family your way. God, Goddess, Force, Energy is brazen. Her declaration says... I am bold, brave, shameless, and brazen. All right, so it's whatever it is, it's time. And you have the cosmic power within you, the alignment of self-union, you know? So what else? What other messages? <laughs> Before I even shuffle the moon cards, we got the North Node. Step out of your comfort zone, right? So it's time to um, focus on your true North your destiny, your path, right? Because whatever changes, whatever is leaving um, is because it's no longer in alignment with where it is that you are headed. And that's important to embrace. Whatever we're seeing the truth of, right, is it may at one point have been of support, but it, it no, today it's not. It's too comfortable Okay, so Satira, she speaks about being brazen, and she's Goddess Satira is the energy and spirit of Buxton in Guyana, South America. Satira is brave, bold, brazen, and barefaced, casting a spell with her hips. Her guidance says, "Step up, go for it, partner with the divine to make brazen choices, and everything meant to diminish you will elevate you." All who mean you harm will fall away. Your hurdles are illusions because you are plugged into the source. Her embodiment is to make brazen decisions. What would you dare to do if you knew you couldn't fail? It is brazen to be unapologetically you. It is brazen to speak up for someone not in the room. It is brazen to choose a different spiritual path or career than your community. It is brazen to build your family your way. God, Goddess, Force, Energy is brazen. Her declaration says... I am bold, brave, shameless, and brazen. All right, so it's whatever it is, it's time. And you have the cosmic power within you, the alignment of self-union, you know? So what else? What other messages? <laughs> Before I even shuffle the moon cards, we got the North Node. Step out of your comfort zone, right? So it's time to 
um, focus on your true north, your destiny, your path, right? Because whatever changes, whatever is leaving, um, is because it's no longer in alignment with where it is that you are headed. And that's important to embrace whatever we're seeing the truth of, right? Is in may at one point have been of support, but you know, today it's not, it's too comfortable. Okay, but we're gonna pull another card. What else is here? Yeah, and then we, it's a lot of Libra energy here. So we got a new moon in Libra, a new romantic cycle begins. So something new that you're very passionate about. Maybe you have a new relationship coming forth for you. Um, a new love. Maybe you're getting married. Maybe you're finding like a new commitment within your already present relationship. Okay. Um, and at the bottom, we have the new moon in Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. Okay, so, <laughs> and luck is on your side, all right? So, wherever it is that you're not clear about something, just take <clears throat> take time to pray, take time to meditate, all right? Stop trying to see the finish line, I guess, before. You don't have to know how something's going to turn out before you choose to do it. But you have someone coming in to support you hand in hand. This may be a masculine water sign cancer pisces scorpio maybe you are doing something with a water sign mask and building something with them perhaps um right and right because this is lover's energy so relationships may be at the forefront as well of things uh but there may be someone coming to you uh, with some form of flattery that's going to because the cats are at the bottom that's going to bring some change um but with it being on the bottom it's kind of like be aware of the the detriment that they could bring um right is it really worth it kind of thing but more so than anything i feel like it's more of just flattery you may be walking away from what is simply flattering, right? But more so of a commitment. Because a new romantic cycle begins. What else is here? Uranus, great change. A revolution is taking place. <clears throat> Radical shifts are taking place. All right, we're really focusing on community. We got the North Node again at the bottom. So what's happening is faded, it's a destiny. It was meant to be, it was always meant to be. Personal power here for us, for this Aquarius full moon. I am a healer, all right? Know that you are a healing force in your own personal life for yourself, all right? So there's a lot of healing taking place within you on all levels, all levels. Um, Health may be changing. <laughs> Mind, emotion, physical, spiritual. All right. And you speak highly of yourself. I speak highly of myself. Okay. What is the self-care for this full moon in Aquarius? What is self-care being offered to us full moon in Aquarius? Fix you some tea, some coffee, all right? Have some coffee dates, all right? Maybe you wanna meet up with a friend. Maybe that's what all this partnership energy is. Maybe you are meeting someone at a cafe. Maybe you're connecting with someone over coffee. This is bringing something revolutionary forward. Maybe it's healing taking place. Maybe it has something to do with healing, all right? But this is bringing you forward toward your <clears throat> North Node, something it is that you're very passionate about, all right? You are going to, through this, you are going to see that what has left was a blessing because it brought an even greater one, you know? Because it's time to create, all right? It's 
time to create. Um, create what it is that you have been wanting, needing, desiring for your life. Okay, so y'all, thanks for sticking with me if you are still here. All right. Let me know how this serves you. I would love to know that. You know, leave a comment. Like, be sure that you like uh the youtube channel okay and if you need anything all the information is down below um reach out i'm here for that and i will talk to y'all very soon um yeah that's it i love you guys bye